Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some items to share with you today from Ease DIY. Um, they were kind enough to let me pick some diamond paintings to share with you all. So they all look to be roughly the same size. So let's start with number one. Oh yes, so this one is actually a partial diamond painting and it's a special diamond painting. Let me get it to unravel if I can. So it has 17 different types of diamonds. Now some of them, not all of them, I think one of them, one of them by the looks of it actually has a DMC number. So if you look here, we've got 5200AB. 5200 is a DMC colour. The rest, they either seem to use their own colour or, or sort of a rhinestone type number. Some companies are quite different when it comes to rhinestones and how they label them. Uh, it does come with a toolkit, bow wax pen, and then to show you the diamonds that they come with, so we have number one they class as silver, then we have the 5200s with an AB coating, so white with an AB. We have some gorgeous pinks, and these are just standard rhinestones at the moment. Purple, a lime green, maybe is that even a more a lime green? They are different numbers, oh, so they are slightly different shades of green. We've got some blue and then, oh, look, we've got those huge gold dots. We've got some smaller yellow ones. We've got pink ones, <gasps> cute little pastel pink ones that look like little buttons. We've got some purple in a couple of different sizes. And then we've got some white pearl. Well, they're white with facet cuts like diamonds, and then these two are more like pearl coated white ones. And you do all of those to sort of make up the diamonds in the picture. Let me just get those back in before I lose track of diamonds for pictures, which is not good. Um, but you just do the flowers and the bow around the basket. And I just think it's a really sweet one. It's a nice little bouquet of flowers. You've got like a wooden, and this isn't, this doesn't have glue on, but you have like a wooden panelling behind it. And yeah, it caught my eye. Which, more often than not, is what all of them do that I pick. Um, so that is number one. Number two, we have a little bit of tape on this bottom corner. Let's go for that might be easier to get into she says as she struggles more than she normally does maybe it's not easier to get into but I'm kind of here now there we go I'm in I'm in so diamond painting number two this is a 30 by 40 and to get in it that scene it just just jumped out at me. Gorgeous. So you do get a toolkit, boat wax pen. And then it is 19 colours. It does have DMC numbers. Oh, it's very confetti. And they do use white on black as well as black on white. So if I look at this really, really close up, you can see some of the symbols are white and some of the symbols are black. And that just makes it clearer depending on the colour. But that confetti up there, oh, so much fun to do. Uh, there is a little bit of blocking uh, when it comes to sort of the sun, but there's a lot of confetti at the top. And that is how you get I mean, if I peel that back so that you can see, that is how you get the true life effect, is with that confetti. Um, it really helps bring a picture to life. So the actual diamond painting area on this one is 34 centimetres 
by 24 centimeters is the actual diamond painting area but I think for an image that size you can really see the branches and stuff in the trees it's a little bit more of a muted tone it is around but it doesn't have the likes of training wheels or anything uh, we do have a little bit of black and some greys because of course that's what makes up around the sort of tree areas we've got some blue and some nice bright yellows for that sunset we've got some is that 939 yeah 939 really really dark blue some browns quite a few more muted tones but we've got some peaches and some yellows mixed in with all those browns and a little pop of white because the sun shows up as white oh have i folded that up the right way possibly not i tried to get the folds that they've already made in the diamonds and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't let's try that again there we go that's a bit better got the diamonds a little bit more the way they had them so they do um so you do tend to find that the diamonds do come with a code on them so you can see this one has got p0149 and then it's got 13 14 15 p0149 is the reference to their code for the painting but every now and then it, it just sometimes it's just easier to put the diamonds away than get muddled up so that's painting number two and then for number three let's get in this one and i will pop links to everything in the description below if you're on a mobile just click on that little arrow and it'll take you to the description a little tiny arrow in the right hand corner it'll take you to the description where you can find links to everything but look at that so you do get boat wax pen let's try and get this one to flatten out a little bit it is a poured glue so the canvas itself this canvas is really thick actually and um, the canvas itself can take a bit more of a you know manipulation um to to try and get it to lie flat a bit very sticky glue uh, this one again does use black symbols on the dark sorry white symbols on the darker background black on the lighter background but look at the detail so that is a little cat looking up at a ball of yarn that is the moon and um, what's the size so the actual size of this one it is around again it is just short of 25 by 35 is the actual diamond painting area it comes with 17 different colors it does have dmc numbers we don't have any 310 in this one but we do have some 939 which gives us this depth of darkness in the bottom and in the top there is some blocks of color but there's also not so even when you're working on 939 you've got scattering of lighter ones uh, we do have some blocking in the beginning of the ball of yarn and we do have some in the skyline here but not too much and it's definitely got a little bit more of a difference in colours at the bottom but I think that's a good size for that painting. Uh, let's have a look at the colours themselves and see what sorts of blues and greys and etc that we do get so of course there's going to be quite a lot of blues and greys to make up this skyline and indeed the sort of cityscape below we have got some paler colours in there of course because we've got a moon and um, quite a bit of some of those darker blues and we've got some nice turquoise blues some beige and some brown all back together what is that t 3828 number 15 ah so that that sort of looks yellow is actually sort of this mustardy color so i was trying to work out i was thinking is there a yellow because of that but no it's this mustard mustard type color 
for that one. I'll pop those diamonds away in a moment. I try and excuse, excuse the bag ruffling where I can. As long as I've only got one set of diamonds out, we're all good. But yeah, I do really like, we've got a cat on the rooftops looking at a ball of yarn. I'm sure, I'm sure he wants to play. Um, so yeah, they're the three items that Ease DIY sent me, um, were kind enough to send me this time. A little bit of difference for these. We've got a couple of, we've got a sunset, we've got a moon, and then we've got a gorgeous bunch of flowers. But say, I will pop the links to them all down below in case any of these interest you. Um, and thank you so much to Ease DIY for sending me them to share with you all. Speak to you all again soon.